Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, as you read by the title, we're going to be filming a what's in my Marc Jacobs tote bag. So my last what's in my purse did numbers on my channel. It is my most viewed video on my channel. So if you haven't already, check that out. So before I get into this video, I just want to say in my last what's in my purse, people say that I talk way too much and I ramble. So if it seems like I'm speeding through this, I probably am because I don't want people to say the same they said about me before. So without further ado, let's get right into it the video well the bag okay. so this is the bag that I am currently carrying if you've been watching my channel you know I got this bag from Mother's Day so a couple of videos ago I got this bag and it has just collected so much stuff literally we went on vacation a couple weeks ago I have all kind of miscellaneous stuff thrown in here that does not belong it needs to be cleaned now because it's way too heavy so without further ado here we go this is the bag. I have the black um, tote bag in the cloth uh, fabric and it is the medium size. And so you can tell right off the bat there's like so much lint on it. So yeah, I, 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 I'm not a big fan of like the soft canvas. So anyways, I'm just give you guys a little overview so you can see what we're working with. And you can see we got all kind of stuff up in there that does not even belong. First things first, thing on the top, this is it's some kind of dove. Um, beauty cream i don't even know like i think i don't even know it's in good it smells good but you know that don't really mean it's good i had this in my bag when i gave birth to my son which was eight months ago so i don't even know like you know like what <laughs> next thing we have is we have this thing on my keys which is like a little um wallet thing hold on let me make sure i'm covering, covering up. this little wallet thing y'all can see my picture right there this is like the first cute id picture i've ever had i think it's really cute and it has like this little bracelet thingy and then like a tassel and a chapstick holder this came from amazon then i have some uh chi 44 iron guard which really does not belong in my purse because if you know, you know, your girl wear wigs, so I don't even know what this is even doing in there. Next thing we have is a Wubbanub. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, a Wubbanub pacifier. You can see it's like, a, I think a, a koala bear. And yeah, it, my, my son doesn't even suck a pacifier. He hasn't sucked a pacifier in forever. So I, I probably got that out the car. It probably, it just needs to go in the trash because he don't even suck a pacifier. Next thing I have is this scotch bright travel lint roller it's not even open yet um let me show you so i got this when we we're going on i ordered it from amazon before we we're going on vacation but as y'all got as you guys know i live in japan so stuff takes forever to ship to my apo so it ended up coming way after we got back from tokyo so i didn't even need it anymore so i just threw it in my purse because i like to wear black a lot and Obviously, black accumulates a lot of lint, so I threw it in my purse, and it needs to be open and everything. But yeah, right now it's still chilling in its packaging, and my purse is taking up a whole bunch of space. Next thing we have are the Salon acrylic, real short press-ons. Um, I got these from Amazon as well. I have been on press-ons bad. I'm actually about to film a video after this of me doing some press-ons, but I just took some press-ons off last night that have been off for. 15 days did not lose any press-ons only thing about it you have to make sure you prep your nail and apply the press-on correctly but you definitely can get a full two weeks of wear out of press-ons so these came from amazon they actually came from the same package as this so yeah i just kind of opened my stuff at the mail room and threw it in my purse because it was just two little items so that's that next thing we have is uh what is this Oh, this is some uh, toothpaste. I got this when I went to the to the dentist like last month. Um, they said a girl had gingivitis and sensitive teeth. So <laughs> they gave me this toothpaste, told me to try it. Two of them. So I, I've been using one of them and this one has still been chilling in my purse. So yeah, that needs to go. This is a, what is this? Oh, this is the first aid kit. Oh, my camera being crazy. This is a little first aid kit. Um, as you guys know, I'm a mom. I have two kids. I have a toddler and a baby. So, yeah, we had a lot of boo-boos and stuff like that. I don't even know how you open this. <clears throat> okay. It has all kinds of shit in here. It has band-aids, um, wipes, burn cream, tweezers, uh, 
q-tips has all kind of stuff in here i think it was like five dollars y'all like i mean the mom that get it get it like the kids always hurt himself especially the three oh he's always hurting himself so yeah that's that um i have some glasses in here these are just another pair of little a little pair of glasses these are also from Zinni, so they're just a clear frame. Hopefully my camera is focusing okay. Maybe I need to like, dim my light a little bit. Oh yeah. I'm not wearing those right now though. They've been in my bag since we went up to Tokyo. Just chilling. Well, I have a whole bunch of receipts from the grocery store. Literally spent $231 on groceries and I feel like I didn't even get anything. Uh, I had another receipt which was from produce and i use my weed for produce because anything that i can get for free from the government i want it and before anybody try to come for me my husband is in the military and y'all know the military barely get paid anything and plus we're overseas so we qualify for WIC here we qualify for WIC in the states too because once again the military don't really pay nothing so um yeah don't come for me because yeah if i can get WIC, i want it next thing i have is this little glasses case that says shein on it this is some little glasses these two have also been in my bag ever since we came back from vacation if you watch my shein haul you would you would have saw these but they're just some like tan um square frames really cute so that is that continuing on we have a victoria's secret bombshell rollerball sorry you guys my camera is on autofocus so it takes a while to focus on the item and then back to me so ignore it just ignore it and then i have my keys right here this is my little car key um this is like to one of my super old um cars like from forever ago that doesn't even work uh house keys and then this little gucci key pouch thing and then i have a receipt from outback steakhouse in tokyo which is freaking jumping if you don't know i live in okinawa we barely have any american style restaurants here but if you're curious this is how a receipt um would look at outback in tokyo which you probably were not curious but i had to show you anyways because it's in my verse <laughs> Um, next we have some empty spongebob gummies i think my son had that on the plane on the way back and i just threw it in my purse because i don't want to be that girl to leave trash on the plane i have a pocket bag which is passion fruit and banana flower this is just a little germex from bath and body um if you're watching the last person in my purse you can see i was like a big germaphobe had so many masks and stuff in my bag because obviously covid um i keep that stuff in my car now so yeah still germaphobe just is in the car um i have a pad in my purse uh i am eight months postpartum and i still have not gotten any kind of cycle anything so i just keep a couple of supplies in my bag just in case try to sneak sneak me when i'm not at home which nine times out of ten i am at home like all the time so that would be rare but in the instant that i'm at home i'm gonna be prepared <laughs> Um, next, I have this little uh, Louis Vuitton. It's not real Louis Vuitton. It's like a dupe. You would have saw this if you watched my last What's in My Purse. But it's like a little pouch. And inside, we have all kind of like lippies and stuff like that. See? So, let's just go through here. Let's see what we have. This is a milk chocolate chapstick stick. And then I have a marshmallow chapstick. Um, these cool flavors, scents, whatever. They came from Amazon. And then I have a NYX Butter Gloss in the color um, Madeline, which is like my favorite nude lip ever. And then I have a mini Vaseline, which is the cocoa butter kind. Because first of all, cocoa butter just smells like black girl magic. And also, your girl hands be ashy all the time, which I said in my last video. My last what's in my purse, my hands literally always freaking ashy. And I be, I be trying to stay prepared because I hate my knuckles being ashy. So next rant here we go you have this little whatever it's called native coconut uh it's coconut and vanilla deodorant it's supposed to be the deodorant without aluminum in it so backstory i had this also in my bag when i gave birth if you haven't watched my whole birth story you have to watch that to know that i left japan to go to us actually one day ago on this day today july 16th 
to give birth to my son because the prenatal care here just was not what I needed and I ended up needing emergency surgery to save my baby and da 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 all of that. Okay, I was like eight months pregnant so I was going in for my checkup and I had saw this at Target when I stopped there to get Starbucks so I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna buy a small one because this was like five dollars, the big one was like 11. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna try the small one before I spend 11, 12 dollars, whatever, on a big deodorant. So the next day, I had to go pick my prescription. So I put the, put the little deodorant on and I, you know, moving about, moving about. They're saying, you know, I smell something like stink. So I'm like, hold on, let me cut this air off. I'm like, who the hell is that? Smelling, smell like that. So whole time, kind of find out it's me. Um, when I tell y'all I stopped at the nearest CVS, got my degree with the aluminum back in it because this just does not work for me. Wearing this, you will literally be musty. Like, I don't see how people be ranting and raving about this native deodorant, whatever it is. It does not work. Like, it does not work, especially for me. Like, I, I don't know if it's because I was pregnant. When you're pregnant, you're already sweating so much. And I, I don't know. To this day, you really can't even buy this for me and tell me to try it because I probably won't because I just feel like it does not work. All that organic, natural stuff, it's not giving. Give me the chemicals. Period. Next thing I have is some a mini um cocoa butter lotion, y'all. I told y'all I'd be ashy, and your girl do not be trying to be ashy out here, so that's that. And then a bunch more lippies. Um, this from Bare Minerals. This is from Boxum. I don't know if y'all can see that. One from Bare Minerals. One from Boxum, and then we have another one from Bare Minerals. And uh, we have this little <clears throat> roller ball um, fragrance oil, which actually came from Amazon. Backstory, I got really invested into vanilla scents. So I saw this on Amazon and I got it for my purse. And I just want to say, if you like vanilla scents, definitely go and order this because it smells so freaking good. And it lasts literally forever. So yeah, I also have to do an updated perfume collection for you guys soon because I have been working on building that back up. And then lastly, I have another chapstick and this is graham cracker um, flavor or scented, whatever. It's not open, so I really can't even tell you guys, you know, if it's given or not. But um, yeah, this, let me see, a whole bunch of free item cards in here from a... Uh, what is this free item cards from sonic because when i was pregnant like sonic was like literally one of my number one cravings and my cousin my little cousin was working there at the time and she gave me like a whole bunch of these so you can see like sonic rewards honey you can get like a drink a cheeseburger coney dog breakfast burrito i was literally busting them down she the reason part of the reason why i gained 60 plus pounds when i was pregnant um next we have I have two of these little, I don't know, they some kind of little Japanese keychains. I actually got these, like, I think last weekend. I was looking, because we're, we're about to get ready to move away from Japan, so I was trying to get everybody birthday. And one of these is like a little souvenir, but I only found K birthday and me and Carlos's anniversary. I didn't find, what the fuck was that? Oh, ooh, that shadow scared me. I didn't find anybody else's birthday, but it looks like this. So that January 8th, that's me and Carlos' anniversary. And then um, November 10th, that's Kate's birthday. So it's some kind of little keychain. I don't really know. I just thought it was something cute. I haven't bought any souvenirs the whole time I've been living here. So I've kind of been trying to get little souvenirs and stuff. Um, next thing we have is a phone case that came from Amazon that does not fit my phone. This actually came in the mail yesterday. I made a mistake and ordered the 13th uh the iphone 13 pro case but i have the iphone 13 pro max and that does not fit my phone so i have to ship that back next thing we have we have a hair comb we have um some hoop earrings plus the girls that get it get it i love the hoop i have another hoop that's missing its match i have one two three um <laughs> Uh, Germix from Bath and Body. So yeah, I just my my my, my toddler be touching everything. I be trying to keep his hands clean. So yeah, I have a mini life soil in here. I put this in here when we were headed to Tokyo because 
um i know the airplanes and stuff be nasty so i kind of like disinfected our seats and stuff with this going up there <clears throat> this is super embarrassing backstory uh this was in my little hallway linen closet right here and my son went to grab it and i don't want him to grab it because it's i mean they've never been used or anything it's just like that's not a toy that's not nothing to play with so we were headed i think we were headed to the store or something so i just stuck them in my purse i'm gonna show y'all and it's pretty self-explanatory i got these from amazon if you just search adult novelty items you will find these so it's just these little dice and they say like floor sofa bedroom uh fast slow uh, and then they have like another dice. I don't know if you guys can see. They have like all kind of freaking positions. And um, <laughs> yeah, I need to put those up. <laughs> I have a receipt. I don't know where this is from. From somewhere over here. I just can't read it. <laughs> so yeah, this little receipt. <clears throat> My camera just randomly stopped but i have another german um this is gingham this is like my favorite scent from nothing by works i have some eye drops these are the contact lens moisture drops and i'm actually about to book a consultation for lasik surgery because i'm tired of wearing contacts and glasses i have yet another hand sanitizer what is that like number seven ridiculous I have this um, Bath & Body Works lip plumper that my husband's grandma sent me in the mail. Honey, I don't know what Bath & Body Works put in this gasoline, but honey, when I put it on, my lips feel like they got methane on them, like they be on fire. So, plumper at Bath & Body Works, but she goes to Bath & Body Works all the time. And she sent me this in the mail. And yeah, it got that burn to it. <laughs> um, I think that's almost it, y'all. We have, I have another pad in here. And then I have some trash. This is like, I don't know, some kind of little candy paper. <clears throat> and then I have like a Reese paper in here. And I have a whole bunch of Japanese yen at the bottom of my purse. Um, I have a lip oil in here. Oh, and I forgot to say this, but um, this is the same bag organizer I had in my last What's in My Purse, but I'll still link it in the description. Uh, so that's basically everything that's inside of the little organizer and then outside of the organizer we have some stuff to kind of like fill out so let me show y'all what's in there this is my little wick overseas um program package thingy uh it basically just has like wick checks in there so yeah overseas they literally still do checks they need to get with it because when we was in the states and i was getting wick for carter when he was a baby i had a card it was like a debit card here you literally have to do the whole check process like i remember when i was a baby not when i was a baby when my sister and brother were babies uh my mama had these same little green checks like they need to upgrade but anyway and remember what I said, anything we can get free from the government, we want it. And I breastfeed, but they still give me cans of formula for Kate. Uh, we get peanut butter, milk, bread, cheese, all kind of stuff. So if you're not a wig, see if you qualify for wig. Because anything we can get, we need it. Inflation tearing us up out here. Um, Next, I have a... <laughs> I have a COVID test in my bag. It's a self test. Once again, anything we can get for free from the government, we want it. If you don't know, the government, um, I think couple, like every couple weeks they issue free COVID tests. So I got my, I got like 10 of them the last time. But when we went on vacation, I took one test because this one test, one box has two tests in it. And so y'all i get real 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 paranoid so um my plan was like if me and my husband like got sick or anything while we was traveling i would just covid test us so i wouldn't have to go like to a japanese clinic and pay for a covid test or something because like if we show symptoms the last thing i want to do is get on a plane and affect everybody like obviously if we would have got sick while we was in tokyo we would have just stayed there for our five six days and quarantined or whatever but thank goodness we did not get sick so we did not need these and i can put those in my medicine cabinet and i hope pray to god that we don't ever need them and then my last thing that's in here which is so crazy 
pay was full term baby y'all know i got the history with the preterm and incumbent cervix all of that but he ended up being born at 37 weeks um and then a week after he was born he had a fever they thought we thought he had he, what we thought he had like sepsis or something like that but it ended up being something else and he had to go into the NICU for a week and while he was in the NICU his navel cord fell off and his sweet 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 nurse I'll never forget her name Amanda she put his navel cord in a little bottle for me and like I said I went home to give birth so obviously when I came back here I had to put all of my um I had to have all my things and this was something sentimental to me so I was meaning to put it into the shadow box thing that's in their room it came out of my speedy bag must have been when I was switching bags and I just threw it in here because it does not belong in my purse obviously it needs to go into their room so right after this video I'm gonna go put it in my in my kids room so it does not get lost but this is like a little bottle um breast milk storage bottle and it is my son's navel cord tell me you a mom <laughs> Without telling me you're a mom. Like, girl, you really walking around here with your, your baby navel cord in your purse. Anyways, nevertheless, that is the end of this what's in my bag. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that I did not talk too much like I did in the last video. Let y'all tell that I was talking so much. And yeah, I hope that you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And come back for more videos. Um, yeah, without further ado, that is all. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.